This could be the end of Help Desk as we know it. With recent advances in AI and things such as automated help desk systems, many people are worried or if there's going to be help desk jobs in the future. If you've watched any of my videos such as this one, you know that help desk can be the foot in the door to the tech field for many people. Now, I know some people watching this are like, I don't work in help desk anymore. Why should this concern me? Really, anyone who spent a few minutes playing around with chat GPT can understand the worries that such technology generates to job security. As a matter of fact, the New York Post recently came out with an article stating that artificial intelligence is here and it's coming for your job. The article goes on and talks about how Microsoft recently laid off over 10,000 people due to improvements in AI. As AI technology continues to advance, many people are worried that AI and machine learning will start taking over jobs that were once held by humans. And while it is true that it has the potential to automate many tasks, it's important to remember that it can also create new opportunities for you and I. The biggest takeaway is as this technology continues to develop, we must focus on upskilling ourselves and preparing for the jobs of the future. Now, in recent years, there has been a lot of talk about how artificial intelligence will impact the information technology industry. While it's true that AI has the potential to automate many tasks, there are certain jobs that are just naturally going to be safer from AI than others. In addition, there's always ways that IT professionals can upskill themselves to better ensure job security in an ever evolving workplace. Now, let's dive into some of the jobs that tend to be a little bit more protected from AI and what are the skills that you're going to need to stay ahead of the curve. These jobs tend to require a higher level of creativity, problem solving, and just human interaction. First one is cybersecurity professionals. Now, cybersecurity covers a vast array of different jobs in the field. As cybersecurity attacks become more frequent and sophisticated, the need for cybersecurity professionals continues to grow. Now, AI is already assisting in detecting and preventing attacks, but it can't replace the human element in analyzing and decision making. Another job is software developers. And AI, as we've seen in the YouTube videos, can really help with some aspects of software development, such as testing and bug detection, but it still requires a human developer to design and create new software applications. Data scientists. Data science involves analyzing and interpreting complex data sets to extract valuable insights. Now, you might be thinking that this sounds like a perfect job for like a computer and AI to do. And that is true that AI can, again, assist in analyzing the data it can't replace the creativity, ingenuity of human data scientists. Finally, project managers. Project managers play a crucial role in ensuring that IT projects are completed on time and within budget. Now, there are some tools out there that leverage AI to help in certain aspects of project management, such as scheduling and resource allocation. It still requires a human project manager to oversee these projects and make strategic decisions. Now, while some jobs may be safer than others from AI, it's still super important to remember that you need to constantly be upskilling yourself to ensure job security in this ever evolving workplace. Let's kind of dive into some things you can do to upskill yourself and make yourself that much more of a valuable employee. The number one thing you can do is learn new technologies. As I stated before, the IT industry is constantly evolving and staying up to date on the latest technologies can make you a more valuable employee. Consider taking courses or earning certificates in emerging technologies such as cloud computing, cybersecurity, machine learning, and so on. Online courses are a convenient and accessible way to learn new technologies. Now, there's many different online e-learning platforms out there such as Udemy, Coursera, and INE that offer courses on a wide variety of topics. These courses often feature video lectures, quizzes, hands-on assignments, labs, you name it, that can help you develop your new skills. Matter of fact, if you're interested in signing up for some of these amazing online e-learning platforms, I have a link to a few of them down in the description below. My personal favorite is INE because I really love how they build their home labs, but really there's tons of different platforms out there for you. The number two thing you can do is develop your soft skills. Now, I see this all the time on the channel. Soft skills are some of the most important skills you can have in the IT field. And while technical skills are important, 
Soft skills such as communication, collaboration, and leadership are essential. Developing these skills can really help you stand out in the workplace and make you that much more of a valuable team member. Communication is key in any industry, but it's especially important when technical jargon can be really difficult for non-IT professionals to understand. Number three, embrace change. As technology continues to evolve, it is important to be adaptable and embrace change. This means open to new technology, processes, and ways of working. Those who resist change can quickly fall behind, while those who embrace it can remain ahead of the curve and excel in their careers. Finally, seek out a mentor. Learning from experienced IT professionals can be a great way to upskill yourself and gain valuable insight into the industry. Seek out mentors who can provide guidance and advice on your career path. Start by looking within your own company for potential mentors. Identify individuals who have more experience or more expertise in your field and someone who you respect and admire. Reach out to them and ask them if they'd be willing to mentor you. If that doesn't work, attend industry events such as conferences or meetups. That can be a really great way to network with other IT professionals and identify potential mentors. Also, social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Twitter can also be valuable tools in networking and identifying potential mentors. When seeking out a mentor, it is important to be clear about your goals and what you hope to gain from this relationship. This can help potential mentors understand how they can best support you and, and make them more likely and willing to mentor you. The biggest thing I want you all to take away from this is that you need to embrace artificial intelligence. AI is here to stay, and while it is kind of scary, it's going to be a big deal. IT professionals that ignore AI tools are going to get left behind. The truth is that AI can save you a massive amount of time by taking over repetitive and mundane tasks, freeing you up to work on the bigger picture items, making you that much more productive, and not only building job security, but potentially opening up doors to new opportunities and promotions. There's no better time than now to build your career goals for your journey. Sometimes that's a lot more easier said than done. I actually created a whole video around creating your IT career goals right here in this video. So make sure you watch this next to level up your career and build a better job security. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.